hello guys welcome to my channel it parivars today i will show you office 365 admin portal so you can see about user administration groups how to create group how to add uh, roles how to add domain in office 365 so for that i am going to log in office 365 admin portal so you can just enter office 365 here click on office 365 login microsoft office yeah actually i have already created my account and i was logged in so it is showing here so for now i am going to login I will show you in next video how you can create your own admin portal account ID and how you can manage. So I will show you how you can manage uh, user, how you can manage or create user groups and how you can add domain in Office 365 and uh, many more things. So for now I am going to sign in here. Yes, actually I have already entered password, so it is showing here, I am checking if I am able to sign in. Yes, it's right password. Yes. Yes, so I have logged in, in through Office a a account, that is SK test. And uh, sk that abc one to one to one dot on microsoft dot com is my email ID. Actually, this is a test account. Means you can say this is for uh, evaluation period for thirty days. So I have created this account just to show you. Now you can see here Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. One note, SharePoint, Teams, EMR, and admin option is available here. Means in Office 365, Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, and these all things is available. And it's also depends which subscription of Office 365 you have taken. Like E1, Office 365, E1, E2, E3, or E5, or any other. So first of all, I am going to show you uh, admin portal, admin console. So just click on admin. Yes, you can see here uh, home, user, groups, billing, setup, customize. And if I click on show all option, then you can see here. And many other options like Azure Active Directory, Exchange, SharePoint, and other things. About these all things, I will show you in next video. But just I I was trying to show you uh, what is the admin center means Office 365 admin portal, how it works, and how many options which type of options are available in office 365 admin console so you can see here there are all options for user groups roles resources billing and other things so look wise in the same way you can say 365 admin center is available for uh, your office premises or for your test account if you have to create or add any group or users then just you need to click here you can see here how many users are created already by clicking here and if you want to add new user then just you need to click here add users and just you need to enter the details and you can add the users.
so just I am going to see show you so just you need to enter your first name last name display name username and there 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 is an option for password it's auto generate password or let me create password so if you create password uh, manually then just you need to select this option and uh, if you will click or if you select this option require this the user to change their password when they first sign in then user have to change their password before first logon like in ad if you have used active directory then there is option also so this is the same things which is available in office 365 also so for user creation you have to mention these all things and click on next button and after that you will get the finish option finish option button so if you follow that option then you will create users that will show here means in active users tab and if we have to modify the user roles and responsibilities then just you need to select from here and you can reset the password and if you want you can assign to a group and uh, you can also provide the license user specific like 365 or online sense version or microsoft flow free so from here you can modify the users details in the same way you can also create groups by clicking here groups just you need to there is a group available i have already created it it group so if you have to create then just you need to click here add group office 365 recommended distribution mail enable security so as per your convenient or as per your company policy you have to select these options and uh, basically 365 is recommended so you need to select this and click on next button just you need to enter here name user group name sorry group name if you want you can also provide here description click on next button and after once you you will click on next button then you will redirect to setting and owner owner tab so in owner tab uh, if you want to make a owner to any user then you can select from here and then finish so i am going to close this yes so in this way you can create the group as well in next video i will try to show you uh, other things like about uh, azure active directory exchange sharepoint and team administration so for now i am going to complete this video thanks for watching for new videos Please subscribe my channel IT Parivar. Thanks again.